Welcome to the first tutorial on cloud computing and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your server and back it up. That's okay. So you can see here I've created an SEO server 1 gigabyte on the 1st of June. So what we're going to do is actually create a new on-demand image. What this means is that we're going to create an image based on SEO2. Now before I do this, I'm actually going to show you how to create a server instance. A server instance is is exactly that. So we're going to create a new server. As you can see, I've already got one running, SEO2 with 1 gig of RAM on that IP address. I'm going to click Add Server. Now here's all the different operating systems you can choose. For cloud computing and to run apps, I highly recommend that you use a Windows Server. I recommend that you use Windows Server 2008, Service Pack 2, Enterprise Edition, 32-bit. Now the reason why I don't use 64-bit uh, is that some applications that you may want to install may not work. So I'm going to call this Base Server. As you can see, I'm starting at the one gigabyte of RAM, but you can also upgrade uh, as required. Now with this particular service, you can only go up. Uh, and what I mean by that is you basically create your base image at one gig, but if you were to create it at four gig, you couldn't create a one gig version. So with this methodology, I suggest you start at the one gig and then just scale it up to whatever you need. So we hit create. That's the IP address that I'll get, and it's just about to. And there's the password. You'll also get an email copy of that. And uh, for this demonstration, I'm actually, once this uh, image is completed, I'll delete it. But uh, you can see the password there. And in a few minutes, uh, you'll see it uh, actually creating the server. So you can have a look at the DNS, what it's going to be called. So it'll have an IP. So that's the IP address. And you could use that as the DNS record if you wanted to. But yeah, ideally, you would just click on that and log in based on our IP address. So uh, we'll just uh, pause the video here and uh, let the uh, image complete and uh, we'll continue on from there. Okay, so five minutes later your server's ready to go. Simply go to a start run and type in mstsc and you'll see this remote desktop connection will come up. All you need to do is scroll down find the IP, highlight the IP. This will all be in an email to you from the hosting provider. Uh, you'll get an email with the username and password and the IP address. So we're going to connect. We're going to say yes. Okay, and it loads up and you simply type in your password. Type in your password and here you are. For the first time it will take a little bit to prepare your desktop and as you can see this is just like a normal Windows server. Uh, it will do the standard Windows introduction type things. Um, the reason why the screen's a little bit funny is obviously I'm trying to record this and that's why I have to scroll a little bit to make sure I'm at the right resolution. Uh, you can adjust these settings in uh, the remote desktop client um, and this also works on Mac, Android, iPad, iPod, doesn't matter what platform uh, as long as you have an RDP remote desktop connection for Microsoft you'll be able to access this server. So with that, that's the simple introduction of how to get your server online. Uh, stay tuned for the next video which will show you how to configure users for your server.